The show tonight is packed, y'all, coming in at our number 15 spot. Let's go for 15 likes on the video, ladies and gentlemen, because report, a new Superman game is in development for PlayStation, oh, and essentially Microsoft came out and they said that this figure shows that the impact of PlayStation exclusive releases on Xbox console sale is this applies for big titles like God of War or Superman, and quickly after, a lot of people started climaxing, people started jumping around, people started shaking, people started looking like the homie Young, yeah? And and rightfully so right but this is a little bit deeper than that you see because they say God of War or Superman and usually PlayStation and Xbox they usually like to say God of War or Spider-Man and a lot of people also are believing that they meant to say Spider-Man and that they are wrong some people are also saying that this could be a typo but my guy if this is really a typo this is not making Microsoft look good you see because they're trying their absolute best to make sure the deal goes through and obviously they're doing their job just like how Sony is trying to make sure that this deal doesn't go through and apparently this all happened because of that Call of Duty and Activision deal huh? All of this is happening because of the Activision situation. This is the reason why we already have information about the PlayStation 6 this early. And Microsoft is saying that there has never been evidence that exclusivity of one single franchise can drive console sales. That's cap. Taylor knew that. That's cap. <laughs> I, I accuse you of capping. And listen, this is cap, okay? Because Spider-Man is one of the reason, one of the massive reason for PlayStation sales. Call of Duty, you, you can agree, you can disagree, but a lot of people do play Call of Duty. They, 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 they buy PlayStation or they buy Xbox. A lot of people do buy PlayStation and they only play Call of Duty, GTA, and Fortnite. These are the three games Bruh. and on top the NBA. So these are like the four franchises. But a lot of people are also believing that this could be Spider-Man. But here's the thing, right? If this is really a mistake, if this is really a typo, then Microsoft is not looking good because all they're trying to do here is that they're making sure the deal goes through and Sony can come out and tell them, bro, we don't even have Superman in the well, man, we got Spider-Man. Like, y'all don't even know what you're talking about. And this way, their argument can fall short. So, let me know your take on this situation. But if this is real, then god damn it. God damn, god damn, god damn, damn. And for this story, you might want to put your Twinkies down, ladies and gentlemen. Because this is a massive scam happening on YouTube, okay? It is, it is all across the web. And this is very important. This is bigger than gaming news, okay? Check this out. Apparently, the homie Riley, he's a viewer of the channel. He was saying that, I'm not joking when I see this, if Sony buys GTA 6. So he's just Bruh. basically responding to the, the video, right? And then, guess what? Text heart skizzle legs 9529 on Discord comes out and basically ends up dropping this comment. So essentially what they are trying to do is that they're trying to impersonate me. And I've seen this happen with like a lot of fellow, a lot of my fellow YouTuber friends as well. Uh, first, I believe it was the Telegram that still is uh, going around, but a lot of people are aware that's a scam. But this one is a little bit different because it is on Discord. So then he goes over on Discord and you can see, I mean, K is not capitalized. So that's a dead giveaway. That's, uh, that's not me, guys. That's not me. Bruh. I mean, I'm being dead for real that's not me guys so you can see like the homies like yo that's not how a giveaway works and then my impersonator was like okay man for your shipment forget about it if you do not believe forget i don't force you man tell me if you're the actual guy or do you got a problem with that if you don't need it forget about it and i don't want to say this but guys like in the future we all know what's happening with the ai right so in the future these mofos definitely gonna be calling in so my point here is that guys i definitely do giveaways but not like this any giveaway you see from me or any other content creator out there they're never gonna ask for your money they're never gonna be asking for shipment charges there are no shipment charges if you win the giveaway you get the money or the price right away no questions asked if you're asked about shipping fees then that's not a giveaway that's like you know so speaking of giveaways ladies and gentlemen let me show you how these giveaways are done okay apparently the homie modern warzone came out he says i thought somebody randomly ordered me the largest pizza i've ever seen turns out it was a sick care package from call of duty activision this is how the giveaway works because you never ask for it right and then all of a sudden you get thrown like pizzas around you get hit with moisturizers you get hit with socks apparently call of duty they really love the socks you got hit with the hoodies and whatnot and apparently call of duty just went crazy and everybody's like really mad in the chat i mean <laughs>
Uh, I hope they didn't pay Doug off. They paying to shut up with your complaints. And that's kind of wild, right? Because you see, quickly after, this backlash has been so severe, ladies and gentlemen. The toxic gamers are literally everywhere. Check this out, right? Apparently, Shanice came out. E -e 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 -e, strong, independent, strong, independent, strong, 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 strong. strong. Says that family-friendly reminder, mailers are some of the influencers' teams favorite times because we get to step back from being punching bags and have fun plus be creative i get the passion but these mailers are for fun folks don't have to post about them and in some cases they don't i hate seeing my small but mighty team of three get shiza on for the fun stuff i know it's part of the gig and people are unhappy with things we don't actively touch understandable i just know how hard we work and let's keep a buck 50 yeah, yeah time out right let's let's keep a buck 50 shanice uh, has a point here okay because shanice is in the marketing department and what they're trying to do is uh, they're trying to market the game uh, making sure they can stop these influencers at from bouncing around they're making sure that they can keep their asses at bay because recently charlie until modern warzone they have been pointing their fingers they have been going in like ganging style they have been calling out activision they, they it felt like at one point that they were stepping out from their shell zone right boy if you don't get they were really questioning but all of a sudden they get hit with free pizzas free moisturizers and everything like that and people just went absolutely crazy in the chat uh damn that's sick awesome man the game is good again oh my god yes ah! And obviously these influencers teams are doing their job. They're making sure that the influencers are chill. They're taking care of them. They're making sure the game looks the best they possibly can in the trailer. <laughs> and they really do their job right because every year people are like, <laughs> I gotta buy, I gotta buy this game, man. I'm high, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, oh, I'm oh shaking. God, oh They're doing their job. I got nothing against that. It's the devs that are just doing helicopters with they're really standing there with thumbs up their asses and just dropping one new map after five months, guys. Uh, it is uh, not the influencer oh team. So toxic devs or toxic gamers? Check this out, right, guys? We cover news like this every single day, so hit the subscribe bell. Because apparently a gamer came out, he went rogue, he went crazy. And AK, I cannot say this word on YouTube because they might YouTube might think we're talking about the actual thing. Stupid. And AK skin in CSGO just got sold for $160,000. Damn! Dial, man, like, y'all crazy for this one. Opera GX marketing team got their schlongs involved by saying that they could have gotten 57 online because, uh, you know, on, on the dark web, you can get it for 20. I mean, damn, hey, yo, son. Yo, chill, pump the brakes. I mean, damn, 160k, you could have bought a house for that money. But ladies and gentlemen, I always say this. I always preach, and this is this is the thing I live by, ladies and gentlemen. I always recommend you to not chase that pom pom. Let the pom pom chase you, right? But in this situation, whoever bought it, they need to be chasing that pom pom, okay? Bro. <laughs> they need to do that right now, bro. Also, GameStop started trending online, and we're talking about the same gamers, right? They they always say that uh, we do not play no games, but they be at games. Stop. So you can see homie was uh, just going around the GameStop and there's like literally nobody around here Another man says that GameStop is really on its last leg showing uh, get an extra $20 Take an extra 20% off clearance prices Get 50% extra credit PS5 control each stock will win more you Also the Twitch's CEO Emmett is now stepping down after 16 years and people just went absolute crazy Mr. Beast says that can the new guy in charge make it where I don't see a 30 second unskippable ad every time I open Twitch please Opera GX marketing team got their schlongs in while once again by saying that wondering if I've seen a bigger W too bad quickly RG responded by saying too bad his replacement is worse Dial. Source says that bro looks like a trick Damn. Also, those of you that love chasing that pom pom over on the TikTok platforms, y'all might want to sit down for this one because apparently the US and, and I get it, right? The, the, the US, the US, they they came out with this. They have threatened TikTok like multiple times, so this is like another one of those situations. But this time, it kind of seems for real, for real. The US is threatening to ban TikTok nationwide if the F's Chinese owners don't sell their stakes. Oh, a shit. move that comes just a week before TikTok CEO is set to appear before Congress and quickly after a lot of people went into coma especially the ones that use it every single day right but on the other hand people are dropping suplexes people are throwing the parties people are selling popcorn for a buck 50. needless to say a lot of people are really happy after hearing this story but man says that i just started to get cloud on tiktok i mean it, it, it'd be what it'd be ladies and gentlemen drop a thumbs up please god do it pull the trigger on these please just do it already you would be doing the country a favor i show speed also ended up hitting 16 million subscribers on youtube and here's what he says Roll it. He bought a scream, bruh. 
We did it! Let's go! We did it! 16 million! 16 million! 16 million! 16! 16! I mean, big congrats to the homie I shall speed, but uh, can a brother get like uh, two subscribers? Guys, we cover news like that every single day. Hit the subscribe bell. I I'll love you forever, okay? Also, the anime waifus and the anime titties started trending over on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, people started saying the quality, and apparently now it is at 60 FPS, so a man just ended up dropping this anime waifu, doing all kind of bad, all kind of haram stuff, and right after that, 60 FPS started trending, to which a man responded by saying that anime at 60 FPS, pass me the bleach, and I really cannot believe my eyes, ladies and gentlemen, stop doing 60 FPS, it's garbage! It is so bad! Now, ladies and gentlemen, what do I know, right? I'm a console peasant. Most of the time, I only play Call of Duty, but I haven't played Call of Duty in months, okay? I haven't touched Call of Duty. I haven't touched Infinity Turg's latest uh, modern garbage Warfare 2 game. Shut your s but damn, man, these weaves, they don't like 60 FPS. If, if you're a weeb, let me know if these uh, should be a 60 FPS or 30 FPS. I, I wanna know your thoughts on it. Also, GTA Online ended up getting a brand new DLC, and it ended up uh, bringing back Dr. Friedlander. And a lot of people started speculating that we're gonna be getting that Michael DLC in GTA Online for the summer's update. And right now, there are a lot of rumors going around that also say that apparently that summer DLC is gonna be bringing that GTA shape marketing high and those of you that have played the gta 5 single player you know that there are two endings with dr friedlander either you can send him to gta heaven as michael or you can let the man go and apparently now we're finding out that the actual canon ending was to let him go and right now a lot of people are speculating that we're gonna be getting a full-blown michael dlc and some people are also like please bro like just just cut the cut the support for this game drop gta 6 right now and I, I wanna know where you at with the situation. GTA 6 or another DLC for GTA Online. Let me know your thoughts. For this following topic, ladies and gentlemen, sit down, hide your kids, hide your wives. In fact, this is some of the wildest story on God, okay? Check this out. Pentagon officials suggest that alien mothership in our solar system could send mini probes to Earth. Oh, Previously, they shot down multiple UFOs and then they came forward and they said that we couldn't find the wreckage. Uh, it was Chinese balloon, then they said that it was not a Chinese balloon. A lot of people are highly skeptical with the situation. A lot of people are not believing it. And now, this is what Pentagon is saying and to which a lot of people said that, uh, alien said they are capping. I'm trying to get probe where the aliens are. That, that's haram. Man drops a head to the alien and the alien was like, uh, are you not shocked? Man, uh, I got a lot of going on lately. What? Nobody is giving a damn about this situation. Another man came out so that you cannot fool me. I am familiar with your game. <laughs> People drop in triple, triple limau emojis, god damn. Obviously, folks, I made a dedicated video about this on the second channel, Scary X, if you're into UFO, paranormal content. Check this channel out, check the card out on here, and I will uh, definitely love to have you around. But this following story is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies. Check this out. Elon Musk says that Microsoft fired their AI safety team because, yes, reports came out that Microsoft cut a key AI ethics team. So Microsoft has been like letting those uh, AI employees go. They're saying that y'all bimbos and bozos can suck on a fat one. Y'all can go kick rocks. Microsoft was having no chill whatsoever. They simply told them to go pound sand and Elon Musk is like, uh, Microsoft fired their AI safety team to which Jenny says that bro, you fired everyone. <laughs> Smart move, Microsoft won't go broke because it's not getting woke. You're really gonna put on blast companies firing people in valuable positions? Uh, didn't you do something fun like that to Twitter safety team? Damn! We also ended up getting leaks for the next Call of Duty game and we're hearing that it's gonna be a new Modern Warfare game. It's gonna be continuing the story of Modern Window Camp Warfare 2. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's gonna be led by uh, Sledgehammer Games, uh, Sledgehammer My Balls. The Bloomberg report stated that the game would focus on a continuation of Modern Warfare 2 and its systems, but it will not be Modern Warfare 3. Technically, uh, it's a direct continuation. Uh, Tom Henderson first leaked the report by saying that it's uh, it's gonna be a new Modern Warfare title, but we're not sure 
what they're gonna title it as they can call it modern warfare 3 but right now that name is not set in stones we also had the trailer and the beta leaks we even dead ass got the dates i made a dedicated video on this one click on this video on the screen we got news for the trailer and bunch of other stuff and we also have ps5 pro leaking out if you want to see what happened to that click that video on the left check these videos out guys and i will see you right there